Welcome to Lesson 1, Driver Library. The TermPro Driver Library is an integrated database that includes a large collection of loudspeakers along with their technical specifications. These specifications, commonly called teal small parameters, are used by TermPro's algorithms for calculations during the enclosure design process. The TermPro Driver Library Manager includes tools for interacting with and maintaining the driver library. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the Driver Library Manager to perform common database operations. After completing this lesson, you will be able to select a driver from the driver library, add a driver to the library, copy a driver, edit an existing driver in the library, and delete a driver from the library. TermPro consists of five distinct pages. Each of these pages focuses on a unique aspect of the enclosure design process. To access each page, click on the navigation index at the top of the screen. The recommended sequence for designing a subwoofer enclosure in TermPro is to work from left to right whenever possible. For example, you would normally select the driver on the driver library page. You would then design the enclosure on the enclosure design page. The next step would be to design the vent on the vent design page. Finally, you would design the physical enclosure on the wood design page. The fabrication page is used to view and or print blueprints for the design. Let's get started with a tour of the driver library page. To open this page, click on the driver library on the navigation toolbar at the top of the program. You will see a page similar to this. The alphabetic index button bar is used to filter the driver library by brand name. The driver selection list will display all of the drivers based on the alphabetic index button bar selection. The driver data panel will display the specifications and parameters for the currently selected driver. The driver panel will display a picture of the driver. The efficiency bandwidth product bar graph represents the driver's preference for a particular enclosure type. The TermPro driver library toolbar is used to execute driver library commands. Selecting a driver from the library is generally the first step you will take when designing an enclosure. Drivers are filtered by brand name. Click on one of the alphabetic index buttons to display a list containing all of the drivers whose brand name begins with the letter you selected. For this demonstration, I will select the letter M because I want to use our Mondo Base sample driver. Once I press the M button, a filtered list of drivers beginning with the brand name M will be displayed in the driver selection list. To select a driver, scroll through the driver selection list and then click on the driver you wish to load. Once you load a driver, you will see the parameters for the driver displayed in the driver data panel. The efficiency bandwidth bar graph indicator will also update to show the driver's preference for a particular enclosure type. This information provides valuable insight into the type of enclosure you should construct. One more thing, TermPro uses the background color for each line item in the driver selection list to provide additional information regarding the driver. A gray background indicates a factory supplied driver. Factory drivers cannot be edited. A white background indicates a user entered driver. A green background indicates that the driver has been tagged as a favorite. Most users only use a handful of drivers on a daily basis. These drivers can be tagged for easy access. To tag a driver as a favorite driver, select the driver in the driver selection list and then click on the Fave button on the driver library toolbar at the bottom of the page. To remove the favorite tag from a driver, select the driver and then unpress the Fave button on the toolbar. To access your favorites, simply click on the Fave button on the alphabetic index button bar at the top of the screen. All of your favorite drivers will be displayed in the driver selection list. Although the TermPro library is quite extensive, sometimes you may need to enter a driver that is not included in the database. This is a fairly simple task, but you must pay particular care to the parameter units when entering the data. For some reason, 
Many subwoofer manufacturers use a combination of both English and metric units. This can lead to mistakes when entering driver data. Just pay attention to units when entering the data and you won't have any problems. To enter a new driver, click on the Add button on the toolbar. The Add Driver window will open. Note the two sections entitled Required Parameters and Advanced Parameters. You must always provide the required parameters. The advanced parameters are optional. If you want more clarity regarding the type of information TermPro expects for a specific input field, simply hover the mouse over the field and additional text describing the field data will appear. Some fields, such as VAS, are sensitive to the type of units required. For example, if you see a FT cubed in the parentheses next to the VAS label, you must enter the driver's VAS in cubic feet. If the manufacturer has provided this value in liters, you will need to switch to the metric input mode. Fortunately, TermPro makes this easy. Just click on the metric button at the bottom of the window and the software will switch to metric mode. Now, note the L in the parentheses next to VAS. You may now enter the driver's VAS in liters. Most of the time, you don't need to enter the advanced parameters, as TermPro does a really good job of extrapolating these values from the required parameters. But there are a few advanced parameter fields you should input if they are available. Those are QES and QMS. Please enter those values if you have them. Once you've completed entering the driver's parameters, click on the Save button. The driver will be added to the database and loaded automatically. You should always perform what I call a sanity check after entering a new driver. Compare the values displayed in the driver data panel to the values provided by the manufacturer. Make sure they match, and remember, you can toggle between English and metric units by clicking on the metric button on the toolbar at the bottom of the page. If you discover an error, or if you ever need to correct or update a driver, select the driver from the driver list and then click on the Edit button on the toolbar. Make the necessary changes and then click Save. Remember, you may not edit factory supplied drivers. Those drivers have a gray background. If you ever need to edit a factory supplied driver, or if you just want to duplicate a driver, you can use the Copy command. Select the driver you wish to copy from the database and then click on the Copy button on the toolbar. The Copy driver will open. You may now make any desired changes to the driver before clicking Save. To delete a driver, select the driver from the Driver Selection list and then click the Delete button on the toolbar. TermPro will ask you to confirm the deletion. Click Yes to confirm or No to cancel the operation. In this lesson, I demonstrated some of the key operational concepts of the TermPro driver library. You learned how to select a driver from the library, add a new driver to the library, copy a driver, edit an existing driver, and delete a driver. Please spend a moment to review this lesson by practicing the information presented here with your own copy of TermPro. Thanks for watching.